Adam Holm and Local Blue, and today we're going to show you how to grow your own wheatgrass. It's a really simple process, and wheatgrass has all types of benefits, ranging from people saying their hair turning from gray to black, uh, better sleep, more energy. Uh, basically, wheatgrass is a detoxifier, so it cleans your blood. And it's a really, really simple thing to do. You can grow it inside your apartment with little to no sunshine, some sunshine, and next to a windowsill. So, there are three steps. The first step is soak, then sprout, and plant. And after that, you're ready to harvest. So the first step, we have a variety of wheatgrass here which is called Kamut. Kamut is an ancient Egyptian variety of wheat, so it produces a um, certain type of wheatgrass which is pretty sweet and um, highly nutritious, so I like to use that. So the first step, we're, like I said, is we're gonna soak. So I'm going to, uh, pour these berries, wheatgrass berries, into this bowl and now I'm going to soak these in water and you basically want to whatever is the whatever is the amount of uh, berries you have put about double the water and make sure the berries are totally submerged. The idea is that we want to kind of saturate the the seeds in water and that will lead them to sprout later on. So this is step one and I'm going to cover this. You want it to be totally covered and in something dark and I've also put this here, this little hole there and I want to cover it up because flies tend to get around it. So that's step one. So, Okay, so we let that soak overnight uh, now we're in the next morning. So we let it soak for about 10 to 12 hours and we just want to get it nice and wet. But you don't want to leave it for too long otherwise the seeds will start turning to a mush. So now that completes step one which is soak. The next step is that we want to sprout it. So now you can see they've kind of puffed up the berries and now all we want to do is take that and kind of just strain it out get all the water out. But it's still, you still want it to be moist in there and so we strain out most of the water put that back in there and now I'm gonna leave it covered again and again you want to make sure there's no holes because flies, fruit flies will, will like this and now over the next 24 hours these uh, seeds will begin to sprout and then once it gets like about a half inch sprout then it'll be ready for planting so I'm gonna cover that and we're gonna leave that for like I said maybe about another 24 hours and see how big the sprouts are okay so it's been about 24 hours and we can see that the wheatgrass berries have started to sprout a little bit there are some of these things that are uh, there's like little little white little things coming out of there and you can see some of them are longer like this but it's not long enough we want to let it sprout a little more so what I'm going to do is wet it again and just kind of get it a little moist again and some more moisture it'll keep sprouting a little bit and just pour that water out so I just wanted to get a little wet and we're going to let it keep sprouting it just it's taking a little longer probably because this is a lot of seeds more than I usually do so, just gonna, now it's moist, we're just gonna cover it up and, and let it sit longer, but it's going well. Okay. Okay, so we let it soak for another, say, 12 hours. Uh, that's an unusually long amount of time because we are putting a lot of seeds in this, in this time. Uh, so, you can see now that it's gone from about like a centimeter sprout to now we have like an inch inch long, inch and a half long sprout. So it's all ready to be planted when it's like this. This is a good sign. Um, so the next step is we're going to plant it into a small flat tray like this. Uh, you can pretty much use anything and I've even seen people do it without soil but my recommendation would be to use soil because the nutrients from the soil are going to be absorbed into the plant and then that's going to be consumed by you when you drink the juice. Okay so I'm going to use this flat tray and it doesn't need a lot of depth so something like this is just fine. And I've got some organic soil here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill this up. 
fill it up with a layer of soil. So that should be good. And now I'm just going to kind of spread the sprouted seeds on top of that. And you can, it can be pretty dense because your grass will just come up more dense and it doesn't have a problem with seeds being on top of each other or anything like that. That's fine. So just kind of like this. Actually, I can tell this is going to turn out really well. And it's super healthy for you. Really good detoxifier. I notice the difference when I drink it for sure. So that is good like that. It can, like you can see the seeds are on top of each other, but the grass will grow out just fine. And after that, I'm just gonna put a thin layer of more soil on top of that. And eventually these sprouts are gonna come and poke through the top. And within a week or sometimes less, um, this will turn into like a tall wheatgrass. So that is good, and now I'm just going to water that, I'm going to get it moist and it's ready to go at that point. I don't want to like move the seeds too much, so just a gentle watering. I can even leave this in a place with not a lot of light or even indoors if you don't have a, a garden. Just got to figure out how to drain the water into something else that you can uh, change. So now this is all moist and I want to water it every day uh, just like I'm doing right now and just keep it moist. Try to try to simulate like rainfall so don't like just soak it with a super soaker on there. This is ready to go, so I can just place this somewhere. And in about a week, we'll have wheatgrass, healthy wheatgrass, ready to drink. And I'll show you how to how to juice that next. Okay, so uh, it's been about four to five days, and you can see that the original tray that we planted in has grown to about this length, uh, and it's super compacted. This is not ready to juice yet. Uh, we need still about I would say another four to five days on this, so altogether about, about ten days for that. And the time to grow it, it varies. But here I have an example of, of a wheatgrass that we planted earlier that's ready to cut. So at about this length, yeah, it's ready to cut. Um, I've never grown it too much longer than that. So now I'm just going to show you how to do that whole process. And I'm literally just going to take some scissors and give it a haircut. Just, you can cut it, I generally cut it where the white color, the white color turns to a green color. I'll just cut it right there. So it's pretty easy and, and uh, after, after cutting this it will come back uh, once more and potentially I've had it happen twice more. So altogether three harvests of wheatgrass from one planting of seed. And this, the way this right, this uh, wheatgrass that I'm cutting, the thickness at which it's planted is is not right really. You want to plant it at about this thickness. This is really thick. This is like a head of a head of a uh, really thick hair, and you want it to be like that. This is like kind of thin. You can do it. There's nothing wrong with it, but you're not really uh, maximizing the space. It can grow in a lot in a lot uh, more density than this. So this is not as dense as, as you could be planting. So now I've kind of like trimmed it off at the point where the green part begins. And you could trim it totally off too, it, it doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. And like I said, this will come back once, definitely. And sometimes it come back, comes back twice, which is all together for 
three glasses of uh, three three uh, goes of wheatgrass juice. So now I have I've cut it here and I have it in this uh, in the strainer. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could wash this, but it's pretty clean and I'm not too worried about that stuff. I didn't use any pesticides or anything, so I don't really care. And I'm just gonna just gonna juice this directly now. So you could buy a wheatgrass juicer. Uh, and I have a feeling that some that having the wheatgrass juicer because it presses it rather than this thing is going to chop it all up It probably preserves more nutrients, but I don't want to buy a wheatgrass juicer just yet It's a it's an investment that I, I just don't have one in and most likely you don't have one either So this is an easy way to do it. You just put in a blender. I have a, I have a good blender I happen to have a good blender and However much water you want to put the more water you put the more diluted it's gonna get so I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there And I'm just gonna blend that completely. basically totally blended it's turned into a fine green mush and the next step is to simply just strain that out so I have a strainer here a sieve and I'm going to just pour that juice like that and I could kind of like take some water and get all that extra juice in there Got rid of all the extra juice there too. And now you just kind of want to, you got to get your, your hands and kind of really strain it. This is the extra work you have to do if you don't actually have a wheatgrass press. There's actually a hand press or a machine one that exists just for wheatgrass juice. But like I said, I don't want to buy one yet. So you just want to kind of press it like this. It turns into a nice little ball. It's a fibrous thing. This is what's going to be left over after you fully press it all out. And yeah, I usually just throw this in the compost heap. I'm sure it's sure it's pretty nutritious. So that's what's left. I've strained all the juice out. You could throw that like I said in the compost heap. And now the juice is ready to drink and I, I do find that if you drink wheatgrass juice in the first hour after drinking it it has a distinctly better taste on the next day in the next day yeah it has this the, the sweet taste is definitely gone by juicing wheatgrass juice yourself it tastes like a hundred times better than what you would get at a Jamba juice uh, it's really sweet and it has it doesn't have as much of a uh, of a shock or really really bad and bitter taste like you would get at the store and it like I said earlier um, it's a detoxifier um, it's really good for cleaning the blood and I use it as an energy drink as a substitute for coffee so that is how you make wheatgrass and you want to drink a little at a time uh, I have a really high tolerance it's like something you actually have to build a tolerance to I could probably drink this whole thing and but if, if you're a newbie and your first time you're drinking it and you drink this much you're gonna feel really nauseated so now I can drink it without a problem. And yeah, it's sweet. So that is wheatgrass from seed to juice. Thanks for watching.